Hey, and welcome back to Smoky Ribs. I'm doing another product review today. This is a Doc Holiday steak sauce. I actually run across this company or this this guy here on my Twitter, my Smoky Ribs Twitter page, and we message each other back and forth a little bit. And he said he would send me a sample bottle out, and he did. And I told him I'd do a video review of it, and I am today. And uh, me personally, I don't use a steak sauce with a good cut, a good steak. I just don't do that because I want the, the flavor of the steak and the uh, char and everything coming through. And uh, But what I've decided to do with this and give it a good good review is a steakhouse burger. And I will be incorporating actual ribeye steak into this burger. And uh, tell you what, let's just get started and I'll show you how I'm going to do it. Alright, now to make a steak burger, and I'm talking about a real steak burger, you need to get your meat from a steak. What I've got here is about three pounds of Angus beef ribeye. These are not very thick, and I did that purposely because it's all going to be ground up. I'm going to cut these up, I'm going to feed them into this grinder, and we're going to go ahead and put some patties together. <laughs> I'm going to take all of this, I'm going to form it into meatballs. We're shooting for a half inch patty. So I'm going to ball these up. And I've got some scales here. I'm actually going to measure them to eight ounces. That way all the burgers are going to be consistent. Almost, that's about six ounces. Seven and a quarter. It's gonna be some nice, good sized patties. Almost there, seven and seven eighths. All right, that is eight on the money. I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these ready and form them into patties, and I'll be back. All right, so I ended up with five patties, and that's exactly what I need. All I'm gonna do, and by the way, these are a real coarse ground. The die used on here, the blade is a, of a coarse ground, which works really excellent on burgers. And all I'm going to do is just simply press these down and form them together. All right, so this is what you're after right here. This is ideal. It's going to have a really good bun to meat ratio at this size here, provided it doesn't do a lot of shrinking. I'm going to go ahead and get these other four prepped up and shaped up like this one here. And I'll see you at the grill. All right, before I get these steak burgers going, the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and start some onions. We're going to be doing some caramelized onions. I'm going to put about a tablespoon or so of olive oil in here. I've got some onions that I sliced up earlier on my mandolin. Got some real thin slices. We're just going to dump those in. I'm going to add some sea salt into this. Some cracked black pepper. Gonna give this just a little mix here. All right, the way I've got my grill set up, this half here, it's got all the, the coals under it. This is gonna be direct cooking. This side is indirect cooking. I've got two pieces of mesquite wood for the, uh, the steak burgers. All right, I'm gonna put a cover on this. We're gonna let this sit here and saute till they begin to caramelize. We got another little trick coming up. All right, I'm a few minutes in on these onions. What I'm going to do now is go ahead and put some bacon. I'm going to lay it here on this other side, indirect. All right, I'm about five minutes into these onions so far. Now, anyone that's ever caramelized onions before know that sugar is also an ingredient to help it burn off those sugars and give it that that caramelized uh, look and flavor so what we're doing different today is I've got a coke 
a Coca-Cola. I'm gonna deglaze this pan with a little bit of that. And we're gonna let these onions saute in that coat. All right, now I've got to tell you where I got this idea. There is a channel, brand new. He's just, he's got like six videos up and these Coca-Cola onions were one of them. Caramelized Coca-Cola onions. His name is Russ H on YouTube. And I'm telling you what, this guy has already got some things going on. He did a rib video for 4th of July that will knock your socks off. I'm gonna put a link right here. Go over there and check him out. You might as well get in early because I'm telling you, this channel's gonna blow up at some point. He just reached over 100 subscribers and he ain't been on YouTube, I mean, not long at all. People are already noticing what this guy is doing. So uh, do yourself a favor, go ahead and subscribe and let's see what Russ comes up with. All right, my caramelized onions are, are basically ready. The bacon's ready. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting these patties on here, these steak burgers. I'm gonna put them on direct heat. I've got five of them. I'm gonna start with these three right here. All right, I'm gonna leave the top off of this Weber and I'm gonna monitor these good. I'm just gonna let the direct heat sear them just like you would a steak. Alright, I got a really good sear on all these burgers. I pulled them off the indirect teat to let them finish up. I got one patty left. Alright, final step, we got some provolone cheese we're going to melt on top of these patties. I've already pulled the bacon and the onions. Alright, I'm going to put the top on the Weber and let, give that uh, cheese a chance to melt. All right, let's go ahead and put one of these together. And once again, I'm fighting with flies. All right, I've got some green leaf lettuce going on the bottom here. Get out of here, fly. I've already fed you. All right, on to that. I've got two slices of tomato. Yeah, I've got all this wrapped up tight just to keep these little rascals out of my stuff. All right. We're going to take one of these steakhouse burgers. We're going to lay it right here on top. What did I tell you? Good meat to bun ratio. Oh yeah, perfect. All right, now, this is where the Doc Holiday steak sauce comes in. Get out of here, fly, my goodness. Never tried it, never tasted it, but boy, am I fixing to. All right, that should be plenty. Now we're going to go on with a little bit of this bacon. And by the way, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, I did have two chunks of mesquite wood to help flavor this beef, this ribeye. Now for the caramelized onions. Oh yeah, they're still piping hot. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do a taste test so I can get all this inside and get these flies behind me. Look at that, is that beautiful or what? Let's do a taste test. All right, here we go. Man, these flies, I tell you what. They're, they're trying their best to get to it before I can. Here we go, people. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Golly, man, that, that meat is so good. Look at this, it's just dripping. That sauce is excellent. 
those caramelized onions with the Coca-Cola is excellent. It's all coming through, it's all shining through. Flies are loving it too. Until next time, smoking ribs.